Well, what is going on? Agape City, Brad here, coming at you on a Monday from one of our Monday morning pastors. And hopefully this is not like a case of the Mondays, Mondays, but this is an opportunity Monday for you to go into your workplace, to be a light, to be the love, and to be the kingdom of God where you are. I am so excited uh, for what God is doing in our church. Um, this week, it's just, it's just been so amazing seeing this Agape City Church being just in full force, not just on Sunday morning. I mean, the Sunday mornings are a blast, but like seeing you all out in the community, loving our sports teams, loving our first responders, like just and being intentional in our community to showing God's love. I just am so honored to be a part of this church and what you guys are doing. And uh, I'm so excited to see what God's going to continue to do through us in this community for his glory. Um, for our Monday morning pastor today, I got a little object lesson that I got from my, my daughter to this week. Um, my daughter, she's um, in a local community theater play, and she's very excited to be in this play, and so they're doing rehearsals right now. And, 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 and completely aside from that, the last maybe two or three months, she's just been really into tumbling, like really into like cartwheels and roundoffs and like the splits and being as flexible as possible. And, uh, and like she's just nonstop. Like we're, we're watching shows and she's like, I gotta get some flips in. Uh, which by the way, if you have any more, like if there's a parent of a gymnastics athlete out there who can like help a brother out with any more ways to compliment a cartwheel, I'm running out. I'm like, oh, that was, that's a great one. Or you really flipped over that one. And oh, that one was smooth. A great rotation on that one. I am running out of ways to describe a cartwheel. Anyway, she does them nonstop. What was so cool was this week at the play rehearsal, the, uh, the director, uh, the choreographer says, can anybody here do consistent flips? We're looking for some kids to do round offs and cartwheels in this dance number. And she was like, I could do that. And so then she, she did it and then she got that little additional part to the, to the play. And she came home and she was beaming. And she's like, dad, dad, you're not gonna believe it. They asked if anybody could do it and I could do it. And that's when I just, it, I remembered the, the lesson I was taught early on in ministry, that when preparation meets opportunity, that's when luck happens. You see, people think people, other people luck into things, but usually it's, people just luck into them. They've been preparing for a long time and then an opportunity comes up and they're prepared for the opportunity so they capitalize on it and it just looks like luck, but it was hard work all the way through. And I think about that for you and me. Like, are we as followers of Jesus, are we prepared for the opportunities where God wants to use us for his life, that, for his glory, for his kingdom? And that, that's why for me, it's so important that we're in the Bible because I believe God's word prepares us. It prepares us to know his will. It prepares us to know his heart. It prepares us to see people the way they are. It prepares us to be like Jesus. So I know God has a good work for you to do. The question is, are you prepared to do it? I'll leave you with this verse, Ephesians chapter two, verse 10. It says this, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. I believe God has a good work prepared for us, Agape City. Are you prepared for the opportunity, even maybe this week, to be his hands and feet in our community for his glory? I hope you are. I'll see you all later on. Peace. I'm out of here.